the third trimester and to all the like apps out there you have to wait another week so I vaguely celebrated the third trimester this week a lot of stuff happened this week actually so I had my gestational diabetes test at the obstetrician and um, I got the Tdap vaccine I made a video on the glucose test and what that was really like and I'll publish it as soon as I get the results Cause I'd be really embarrassed if I was like, yeah, it passed with flying colors. And they called me and they were like, your blood sugar is 180. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait it out. But long story short, it really wasn't that bad. It tasted not too bad. I don't know. I mean, like, no one loves getting blood drawn, but that's a good look for me. This week on 28 and Pregnant, I'm so old. So I had the glucose test, got run it pretty well. I want to do it again. Just kidding. I don't want to do it again. But really wasn't that bad. The one thing, I had the Tdap vaccine and my arm hurt for like two days. Like badly. Not good. So I usually do prenatal yoga every day. The intensity varies, but I like to do at least something every day. And my arm hurt so bad. I didn't do anything for like two days. I was just like walking around like this, like grabbing everything like this, like cooking like this. It was cold. Most of my friends said that they were only sore for like that day. I just managed to outdo them all. It won't blow them. So since I was gonna be at my OB this week for a while anyway, just waiting to do the blood draw, I decided to make my OB go through my whole birth with me. I was like, if I'm gonna be here, you're gonna be here, like in this room, physically. So that's what we did. And she was super cool with all of it, so I'm really excited about that. I made a visual birth plan, and I'll share that with you. So we're not really asking for anything outrageous. I think that I'm being pretty reasonable and she was definitely reasonable. So I'm really excited about being on the same page for that. She's gonna sign it and we're good to go. I made my next appointment with a different OB in the office because there's like nine doctors in that practice, nine or 11 or something like that, and they all deliver. So I wanna make sure that I have some sort of relationship with almost all of them. I'm gonna scatter the birth plan around, I'm gonna scatter the charm. I'm gonna try and be nice and not like mean to these doctors. Cause I met with one and I didn't like her and I was like, I was not happy. I'm just praying. She's not the doctor on call when I push my baby out cause she'll give me a C-section for fun just to like get back at me for saying that like we have a rate of C-sections that are not necessary which I thought was well known but apparently some doctors are defensive. I'm about to be honest, yeah. So I asked my OB to kind of feel his position and she said he is actually head down. For a while I thought he had like flipped or moved or something because I felt, I just feel kicks all over the place. I think that's because he gets curled up sometimes, like he has his feet right here, you know? So little man likes to curl all up. So I think that his feet just get really curled up and he'll kick there and then he'll kind of stretch out and kick and it's kind of all over the place but I've been more interested in belly mapping because I'm kind of getting close to the point where fetal position matters. I mean, he can still move and babies who aren't in the optimal fetal position will move, you know, for many, many weeks to come. But to me, um, there are so many things that I can do to optimize his position that will help us have a natural birth. So I'm kind of obsessed. This week, I sat down on the couch. I had like my hip kind of out. I felt my belly and it kind of freaked me out because there was this like, hard lump like sticking out of my stomach like my stomach goes flat and then there was like a softball on top of it oh it was so weird and at first i was like because eh, i thought it was his head and i was like i'm like going like this to him you know but it's his butt so i didn't mind it then so i was like pushing it and i don't know it was weird i do spinning baby stuff every day all this stuff so i'm kind of obsessed with fetal positioning in terms of symptoms this week two weeks ago i had like no symptoms and then last week i had a bunch of symptoms and i was like well that's what i get for saying i have no symptoms but this week didn't really have any again i think last week he was going through a big growth spurt and that's why i can feel him all over now like i can feel his butt like sticking out and he's big and i'm big to account for his size i'm gonna blame it on the baby it's all him 
I think that he went through like a huge growth spurt and that's what I was feeling last week and now I'm kind of used to it. I still get some kind of like aches if I sit in one position for a while or whatever and standing up I'm kind of like but for the most part most of the aches and pains are gone. Those like period cramps, the round ligament pain is gone. It was just genuinely for a few days they were stretching a lot because he had grown or whatever. So we're stretched and I haven't felt them in like a week. So that's cool. His movements are getting huge. They are very large. I think I used to be able to like kind of ignore some of his movements. Or I just didn't feel them all the time. But now I think if he moves at all I'm feeling it. Like I feel his little hiccups. I'm pretty sure I felt him breathing the other day. I don't know. Maybe. But that's what it felt like. He's getting big enough yeah, there's still enough room for him to move a lot that those moves, man, they're big and it's hard for me to go to sleep when he's doing it. He's large. He kicks. He punches. He does all those things. So cute. He does something. I don't know exactly what it is, but some sort of movement where it's like, it doesn't even feel like a full kick, but like my whole belly jiggles like this. Like every time. It's so funny. So um, I've taken like a thousand videos of that. My husband's always like, why are you taking video of that? It's freaking like alien. And I was like, it's our son. Like, mm. Oh yeah, I'm waddling. So now when I walk, my bump is so big that my hips fall forward quite a lot. And my back sways a lot. And I look pretty cute, I like to think. I walk like... When my bump's thinking, well, yeah. Especially if I've been laying down or sitting or something for a while. When I get up, I totally waddle. And it's only going to get worse. So there's that. This week, I gave my husband a deadline to pick the name for the baby. So we have been going back and forth on about three names. Really about two names. For a long time. I just want to name the baby. So I decided, okay... I'll be fine with any of these. I'll just let him pick. And yesterday, the end of 27 weeks was his deadline. And it's probably my fault because in the middle of the week, I kind of decided that one of the names that we have been thinking of, which is Sawyer, which we came up with because we like Mark Twain and we live in the South and like, you know, apparently it's a trendy name. And we went through this as well when we were thinking about girl names before we knew it was a boy. And we really liked the name Harper because like I went to college where Harper Lee was born. My husband, is an attorney and we both love To Kill a Mockingbird and I thought that was a great name and then we find out it's like number 10 on the baby name list because like Neil Patrick Harris named his daughter that I was like so what's the point to me of naming your baby something that has meaning when the meaning is going to be completely overwrought by the trendiness of it. So I was kind of struggling with this name thing and you know, is Sawyer too trendy of a name and girls are being named Sawyer all the time now and I just, I don't know. And then when I was at my glucose test, I saw a birth announcement on the wall and I think it was a girl named Sawyer and I was just like, like I had no idea it was so popular. So um, I think he's kind of been thinking about that and his deadline was last night, but he missed it. So we still don't have a name for the baby. My once any is still slowly becoming an Audi. It's more out now than it was. And I'm gonna show you. Whoa, I look like not that pregnant from the front. Cool. Okay, so it's mostly out now. I don't know if you can like in focus. You can't see it from the side yet. See, it like disappears on the side. You can see it there. It should be super popped any day now, I guess, which is kind of freaky because like feeling the inside of your belly button is like <laughs> So that is the status on the belly button. I also um, don't have any stretch marks yet. So stretch mark status, watch my stretch mark video. Great stuff, great news, you guys. I don't see any. Do you see any? Ugh. Okay, no more belly for you. Woo! Oh my god, the mother I've gained 12 and a half pounds. Here's what I look like. I want you to come back and carry me home away from these long, lonely nights. I'm reaching for you. That's pretty much it. Catch you next week, fools. I'm so lost without.